Happy Sunday. It's Screenplay Sunday, everyone. GB, how are you today? Good to be here. Good to be here. And uh, welcome, Reese and Maria, our two professional actors. Maria. I think this is... Uh, this yes, is the, go on, um, GB. I was going to say, this is our highest level of guest, I reckon, as far mm-hmm. as like acting goes. Professionalism goes. Wow. Professional acting. Uh, yeah. Maria Low bar. Angelico. Low bar. Uh, <laughs> when was your, the last? Uh, when was your last table read? Me. Yes. Yes. Maria. Yes, yeah. Maria. Um, <laughs> uh, for me, um, no. I, I <laughs> earlier this year I did a table read for an ABC series that was shot called Retrograde, which was all filmed remotely. Mm-hmm. And the table read it was weird because it was over Zoom. And um, yeah. and the whole thing about a table read is like hearing the cast and crew laugh and like love your acting, and everyone was on mute, so it's like oh, really nice. cool. oh right, <laughs> and it was a comedy, so like all the cast and all the like heads of network and producers, they were all like muted and their cameras were off, and it was just it was weird. It was like doing a play to an empty theater. Um, yeah, getting no feedback. Yeah, and then you'd forget the producers were there as well and so I was worried I was going to say offensive things and stuff. But mm. anyway, the show was great. It was great. And, and so what was the, what <laughs> yeah. about the last last one in person? What was that like? Um, I can't even remember. I, I don't remember what it was. Yeah. Do they have good catering all the time? Yeah. Because we heard like at the end of the show I typically yeah. say, now everyone grab a tuna sandwich, otherwise they'll go to waste. Thanks for coming. Love that. And that's how Love. we sort of finish it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big, I'm like a, a closet cabana fan. Like I know it's not the coolest snack to have. Uh. Sure. At a part, it's a bit suburban, mm-hmm. but oh, okay. I love I love Cabana. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you eat so those raw? Like I you would... just get them from the deli and you, you yeah, have slice bite? it up with like a block of cheese, maybe mm. a, an olive. You're right. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I actually just get a vintage cheese and cut it up in little squares, like I am at a party. Isn't it funny how we don't really do, <laughs> do you that use normally? <laughs> I should use toothpicks. Well, I, I actually today is what um, a thrill. We've spoken yeah. a bit about uh, pickles uh, before oh the show, God. and so I've brought my pickles, which that. is a standard sweet spiced gherkin uh, rounds, is what this one's called. Uh, Maria, mm. what what sort of what's your pickle of choice? Look, I'm to be honest, I'm surprised. I wouldn't have picked you as a sweet sweet pickle boy. Mm-hmm. I would have. Um, <laughs> But you know, I'm here. I've learned. I'm learning so much already on this podcast. Um, so I'm really happy. Are you having it's fun? A, it's a real like think tank. tank. It's a real yeah. think tank. Yeah. It's a it think is. tank. I know we're, we're we're solving big problems here. Mm-hmm. Um, my newest. Yeah, pi- like I'm a TEDx. big pickle gal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is. It is. I'm, I'm actually pre- prepping for my next TED talk on pickles. Um, my next one. I've never done one. But um, no, it was TEDx. It was TEDx. Brining. <laughs> But brining, <laughs> it's brine time. Um, but I'm really it's brine into time at the moment. With a headset. Yeah, uh, brine time with a headset and I'm into pickled pineapple at the moment, um, mm-hmm. which is, it's really cool. It's really underground. You might not have heard of it, uh, but it's delicious. <laughs> it's great. And so, uh, Reese, you were saying that yeah. you actually had it uh, on a taco uh, only a few weeks ago. Tell us about it. <laughs> My friend Pete Baxter of... Uh, Hope Street Radio. He's a top, top home cook. I mean, mm. top. Oh. Like, should be on MasterChef. He's, he's kind a of top world such a cook. crying shame that he's not. Mm. Yeah, he really is. And he did a fresh pineapple salsa to go with, like, a <sighs> slow-cooked uh, pork taco. It was so insanely good. I went full dog mode and, like, ate too many, too many. Because it was for, like, a big group and I ate. The lion's share. Oh, you were that guy. <laughs> like, you domed this face. <laughs> Absolutely. What is it with um, – so I straight away went to it. It must have been soft shell. Is there anyone using having a pineapple salsa on a hard shell taco? No. It's Great not like costume. 1996 and, <laughs> you know, you're in like Moorabbin having a taco. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, like, not in I reckon my, one of my hard aunties might do that. Here. Yeah, yeah. I th- it's a. No, there's um, some hard shells out there, but you just don't come across them as. I as love a hard too shell. Hard to you eat. Did when we were it's kids. 
Yeah. Annoying in the oven, eat. GB. You got to heat them up in the oven. No, you don't. Yeah, no. But then they, do that. You, they, yeah, they no, you do. Yeah, it's easy. It's not annoying. You just chuck them in. Warm it up. Easier in the microwave to put a soft I... one in with a bit of cheese. Oh, that hurts. So <laughs> bogan. You are so bogan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's yum, you. though, isn't I'm it? Trying it's so, so good. <laughs> it's like a big corn <laughs> chip. It, yeah. it is. Yeah. It does yeah. have that vibe. But I just have, I feel like outside of, I don't think I've ever had. A, uh, a hard shell taco outside of sort of suburban Australia. Like at home. I, I did in LA. I agree. I totally I did agree. At a taco truck. Oh. That place called, did you, it's called Marisol. Uh, I'm getting it wrong, but it's like the only Michelin starred taco truck. And it really? was on oh. that, I think it was on. Chef's Table. Oh, yes. Yeah. I and saw that. I went there I saw that. and they do a hard shell taco. And I think about, that whole experience um, often. It was the, like the go. best taco I've ever had. So maybe not Bogan, maybe the yeah. opposite of Bogan. <laughs> maybe the yeah, opposite. Yeah, but maybe I think, the, you know what it was? I think they... taco. Yes. <laughs> it is, but they, I think it started as a soft shell and then they fried it till it went hard. Okay. Ooh, so yeah. it's not sort of your classic sort of standard, <laughs> like with the flat bottom. <laughs> fried taco. Like the well, surely, surely every hard shell starts soft no. and before you cook it. Never really oh, thought about it. So, so you're just eating yeah. soft shells, really? <laughs> <laughs> you're eating, yeah. Stale soft shells. <laughs> and so um, It all starts of... as, uh, you know, a bit of patty in a drum. <laughs> but yeah, into some sort of taco, let's be honest. Um, so outside of sort of pickle chat, uh, GB, uh, George, he normally brings uh, some industry facts because we lack sort of industry in this show. Mm-hmm. Not today, obviously. Mm-hmm. But GB, what's your industry contribution? Yep, so I like to, for uh, Reese and Maria, I like to find a divorce of interest on this day. So I'll pick a fact from the day. And so today is the 8th uh-huh. of November. And uh, in 1970, Easy Rider director and actor Dennis Hopper divorced Michelle Phillips after eight days of marriage. Oh, wow, wow. Um, eight days. What went wrong? Eight days. Do you know who Michelle Phillips is, Josh? I don't know when you know what I'm like. I don't, <laughs> no, don't that's right. I've watched <laughs> documentaries. What's the, what's the deal? Michelle Phillips is uh, the, one of the singers in Mamas and Pup- Mamas and Puppers, oh, California no Dreamer. Oh, that's a, that's a which good is a song. great wow. song. It is a good song. Did it? I've been year, playing it on the on Year repeat. Ten production. Year Ten school production <laughs> definitely didn't. Our school was so sort of. Uh, uh, rough that we didn't give a fuck about royalties. Like we were just, we always had the best productions because we're like, come on, take us down. We'll do Disney. <laughs> what are you, you going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's who yeah, Disney's looking at. Yeah, we were always at, doing like know? the little yeah. mermaid or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we're just so doing cool. the full legit. You know, sort of. Disney's like, there's a school in <laughs> suburban Victoria ripping off our screenplay. You have to take yeah. them down. Let's no, get, that, le- that let's get legal on them. <laughs> that that yeah. actually that that was a big thing, right? Really? I just remember that what? was. No, to be honest, we ended up doing, putting our own show together. Like we called it like the variety show and it was just because I think the production oh. department didn't have enough money to get any like uh, like licensing because you'd have to pay for like the script. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, we ended <laughs> there was a point where there's just a scene of me juggling. <laughs> it's like it didn't cost him <laughs> anything. But Too uh, California so, dreaming or um, something No, that was, a, that was a different scene. Because that sounds that, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but I did With do Crocodile singing. Rock. I did do Crocodile Rock by Elton John, uh, which was uh, – Yeah. Wow. Yeah, which Beautiful. is massive. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, and they obviously cleared that with um <laughs> with pu- his publishing, and that was fine. To play Absolutely, with Alton. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> but I was uh, listening to California Dreaming early today. Loved it. Um, Josh, I reckon this would be a song that you would play on repeat once you get into it. It's a great song. I love um, it. Yeah. And you should look up. There's this really hilarious on the Ed Sullivan show. They're doing this live version, and for some reason back then they had to like lip sync whenever they went on TV the band mm-hmm. and so michelle she's she's there and she's just eating a banana while they're singing <laughs> and they're all like <laughs> on acid or on weed or something like that it's great it's so good, That's a good any it. other but, but, industry um, facts jb yeah just a quick follow-up from last week you asked me whether it was the date that the div- the divorce was filed or finalized mm-hmm. and it was actually the date that it was filed okay so Across the uh, board, Charlie, this whole website. Mm, yeah, so Charlie Sheen 
last week. I said he got divorced on the 1st of November. November. That's when he filed it. Okay. Didn't get finalised okay. till uh, May. So just want to clear that one up. It take, takes a while. So Dennis it? Hopper was married for one week, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and keep in mind, wow. Dennis Hopper did was... Did he file? Or... Yeah, I think he or did. did Michelle? He was married five so times, he, by he the way. Could be, he could still be married. Or is he dead? Is he dead? No, I think he got married like he's four dead. times after her. So, so that's nine times. He's dead. Or how many? Or was it just five? Is he in total dead? Five, he's five, dead. five all up. No, okay. is he dead? Well, I Reece think he's dead. Pretty confident. Well, surely, <laughs> GB, GB as a guy who brings do, the facts. Yeah, yeah. surely, yeah, he's, he's dead. dead. He 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 died in two thousand and ten. Oh. Yeah, rest in peace. There you go. Sorry about that. Any more details on that, GB? <laughs> You've got a death of interest, George. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, no, okay. So, I mean, as, uh, as usual, the facts aren't aren't great. No, that was good. <laughs> And so today, I, I was I liked that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the general support. response. That's yeah, that's yeah. Great. <laughs> mm. um, so uh, GB has been in charge of the script uh, today. Uh, GB, what is the title of the script? The title is "Caught on Camera." Mm-hmm. And so uh, every episode we have a segment called Guess the Premise where we will ask our guest... Good name. That's the first time we've done that, by the way. <laughs> what do you mean? So, what do you mean? That's, a, that's the first time you've, you've put a whole... I've you know, called a segment. This is, this is our new yeah, segment, yeah. Guess the Premise. <laughs> I never, didn't say new. We do a thing called Guess the Premise and I Josh just called it a segment. Is, yeah. is that not what... Anyway, no, it's we a do good it, title. But I think it's you've just put it embarrassing me in front of Reese and Maria every single <laughs> time. Or not, I am so excited. Okay, so I know what exactly what I'm in for, which okay. I love. Caught on camera, Maria. What do you think the uh, What do you think caught on camera could mean? I what, what do you want me to guess the the the, whole, the premise of the of the, the script? The <laughs> premise, okay. <laughs> I think it is like um, it's a it's an abstract film that is in a kind of Truman Show way based on um, a uh, caught on candid camera show, um, mm-hmm. and it's like a bit Inception, a bit. Um, who dares wins energy, um, <laughs> and I think it's really, it's really, it's it's a real breakthrough show um, that Australia is really is going to really be excited. You're going to want to binge this. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a binger. Oh yeah, you're going to be yeah. glad it was caught on camera. <laughs> yeah, I think that, it sounds yeah. great. I mean, I hope if that yeah. is the case, I'd love to play Mike Whitney. Um, <laughs> Reese. Oh my god, uh, I loved Mike Whitney. <laughs> it was great, wasn't he? You can be. Um, what, I'm going to give you fifty bucks. <laughs> that was, yeah. yeah, I always felt like it was going to come to her because he always went to the shittest shopping centres. I was like, that looks like oh, Endeavour Hills, yeah. but they all look like Endeavour yeah. Hills where I, where I grew up. Um, Reese, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think the premise of Caught on Camera is? I imagine sort of an interrogation th- situation where someone's mm-hmm. denying something, but there's evidence. Sort of that. That's what I'm thinking. It'll be kind of two-hander maybe. Two-hander. Um, yeah, just two people chatting in a room or something. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be kind of comedic. Um, I don't think it'll be a breakthrough. I think it'll be, you know, run-of-the-mill. <laughs> I think it'll be kind of dull. Um, <laughs> just just, I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that like so on the Daily Talk Show, we did – uh, when you say two-hander, that reminds me, we told a story about a guy who was caught on Zoom on camera masturbating. Um, yeah. And so I, I wonder, I, I don't think that GB GB's not a smutty guy, so I can't yeah, imagine would... there being any masturbation. But um, I was the, not in yeah, yeah, so a yeah, masturbation so sequence. You don't know. Yeah. I always make an the offer. Problem. So. <laughs> yeah. The problem with this segment is always all the guesses are much better than the actual script. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know about that. I said it would be run of the mill and not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true. You'd be surprised. Still better. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> GB, uh, who's doing what today? So, characters. So, all right. <laughs> Bit of an acting challenge for Reese in this one. I thought, you know, we've got okay. two professional professional actors here. May as well use okay. them. And Josh is feeling tired, so you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm fine. Low energy. They, they can do the heavy lifting. <laughs> so Reese, you'll be playing Chad and Ben. Wow! Did you give one of the characters that 
was going to be me to <laughs> Reese. Is that what's just happened? No. Was I going no, to I've be actually, Chad? I've actually written myself out of this script because I think, well, I think they're both. I can picture Reese playing both these characters, and it'd be. Will a shame you do the big print up. then? Yeah, it could. could. <laughs> <laughs> because we no. because we do a cold read, do we get any hints on the characters, or do we just like yeah, figure it yeah. out as we as we go? Figure it out as you go. But there's a little bit of a hint for one at the start. So you're Chad. No, and, I mean, uh, like, will you literally tell us like the character profiles and the like, or do we just oh, read it mate. cold? Cold. <laughs> 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 Think, Mike Whitney. Uh, Maria, you'll be playing Brooke. Great. She sounds awesome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Grace. Grace is Wendy. Uh, Ninety-seven mm-hmm. is Dale. There are two main characters that have been in every script. Uh, <laughs> so you, mm-hmm. Maria, you and Grace only have one line. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm an extra. I'm an extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you only Thanks have action, so, so just. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, this is more. It's a story about. I mean. Dale does something that, and you go, "Geez, okay, that's okay, sure. that's surprising." And, and then GB, uh, oh, oh, so it actually could be the uh, Josh. What Josh mentioned your, before. it could be Josh. Your big print and Jake. Oh, so I am big print. I mean, yeah, because <laughs> I, I think you'd want. I think you'd want to be. I mean, you can be Jake if you want, but he doesn't have many lines. Okay, well, I'm happy for you to be. But if I'm low energy, have you used any hard words? Because I'll be pissed. Right, off why don't I, I be Jake? Even. I'll I'll be Jake, and you can be Big Print. Okay, man, he's all really right. pushing you're, you. To you're be good big at print. Big Print. Okay, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Are we all good. Everyone's right, good. So everyone uh, okay? Have we starting. Yep. Yes. So yep. okay, great. Just make it. So choice. do we open make up the script on. now? We open up the script. Yeah, open, open up, up the, the script. Okay. So formatting looks good. Uh, caught on camera, written by George Martin. Address, phone number, email. Uh, interior, <laughs> cinema, day. Chad, an American guy in oh, his American. late 20s, is taking Love his it. girlfriend, Brooke, on a date. They arrive at the counter. Uh, can we get two tickets to Bond, please? Chalk top, large popcorn, a large Coke. And some Maltesers. <laughs> Seventy four ninety five. Thanks. Just on Apple Pay. Thanks. Chad scans his phone. <laughs> Declined. That doesn't sound right. Uh, try this card. Declined again, mate. <sighs> uh, oh, sorry, here. That's... I'll get it. Oh. <laughs> Brooks <Sorry>. scans <laughs> her that phone. Fine. Yep. That was bad formatting. That board, bad, really bad formatting. I really that was yeah. bad yeah. formatting, but it's okay. It. It's okay. Keep going. Thank you. Brooke scans her phone. Yeah. Jane? Oh. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's gone through. Enjoy the movie. If you want free parking, just give me a number plate and I'll uh, sort out a ticket. Oh, thanks. Yes. It's uh, CH4DDZ. It was a 21st present. Looks a bit like Chad's, which was my... Uh, Nickname in uh, high school. Jake is uninterested in the story and Brooke and Chad walk off. They're quite tense. Uh, so when are you going to get a job, Chad? I'm sick of always paying for stuff. You invited me on a date. You drive me here in your BMW and then I end up forking out the cash. How about you sell your car? Baby, you know I love you. And I love that car. I can't sell it. Besides, my film script is coming along really well. I'll be pitching, you know, to like a bunch of networks in the next couple of weeks. So. You've been saying that for months. Exterior, shopping mall, car park day. Continuous. <laughs> Dale and Wendy are at the ticket booth. I don't know. <laughs> That's n- I've never seen it's continuous. It's not continuous. Oh, yeah, no. is it? oh, what I is don't know if I did yeah, that in the right place. What, what does that say? Yeah, yeah so is, that, that that pops up from time to time. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I thought I'd look at it. This is the final draft. Is it? What are you using? So, uh, write a duet. Okay, let's. Uh, Dale and Wendy. I did have to type that in manually. <laughs> are at the t- <laughs> <laughs> Dale and Wendy are at the You're ticket booth. You're embarrassing me. Dale. 14 bucks for two hours. Jesus Christ. That's all right. We'll only be quick. The haircut will just will take will only take half an hour. Interior cinema day. 
Chad and Brooke <laughs> watching the pre- previews. You see that? What? The editing just then. The eye line was all off. It's called crossing the line. Both people in that conversation were looking the same direction on screen. It's ridiculous. All right. Calm down. I'm going to head to the bathroom quickly before the movie starts. Exterior shopping mall car park day. <laughs> Went to Intel, pull into the car park. Oh, there's one over there next to that red car. Dale swings it in tight. Breathe in. <laughs> Jeez, careful. You're bloody close there. The front of the car scratches down the side of the red car. Shit. He reverses and it scratches it more. What are you doing? An, un- on- an onlooker, Ben, is watching the whole thing unfold. He gets his phone out to film. Dale manages to pull the car out and they assess the damage. Let's quietly just get out of here. That's me. I'm Ben, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got the whole thing on camera. Oh, good, mate. No need to film. I'll just leave a note and we'll be fine. Thank you. Now, nah, you're done, mate. Looking at 750 for that repair job. Red Beamer. Bling, bloody bling, mate. Ring-a-ding. Cash monies. <laughs> <laughs> Interior cinema day. Brooke <laughs> is walking out of the bathroom when she notices Jake at the counter talking to someone, showing him something on the phone. Jake gestures at her. CH four DDZ. I think that's. I think it's actually hers over there. Brooke wanders over. Uh, what's going on here? Is this your car? Oh, <gasps> oh my god! Yes, that's my boyfriend's. Okay, well, some dickhead with half a haircut attempted a hit and run, and I saved the day. I got it all on camera for you. Nice ride, anyway. Uh, I'll be right back. Brooke rushes into the cinema. Babe, babe, we've got to go. Come on. What are you talking about? The movie's about to start. I've just opened up my chalk top. Plus, these seats are so comfy. Someone has hit your car? It's been scratched all the way down the side. What? No. Come on, let's go. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what? Why? Why are you smiling? This is our chance to get you off your feet. Think about the money we could make. I don't think you understand how this works. It's all on camera. They've got no way out of this. They quickly exit the cinema to find Jake and Ben still there. Uh, show us the video. Here you go. Clear as day. So, what's the number plate, Ben? Can you zoom in? (laughs) They try to make out the car's number plate. Dale was driving, but it was too blurry. You've got insurance, right, baby? (laughs) It ran out last week. Dang. Sorry to hear that, bro. (laughs) Anyway, I'm off. I'll uh, airdrop you the video. Or maybe you can uh, enter it into Funniest Home Videos or something. You know, you can make a couple hundred bucks. Chad begins tearing up. I just wanted to take you on a nice date. I've been so slack lately and now this happens. It's okay, honey. Look, at the very least, you got a good story now for your script. You could add this in. All you need is a bunch of little scenes and you've got yourself a feature that will make perfect sense. (laughs) You're the most, 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 (laughs) most genius man in the whole world. (laughs) Wow. Wow. Thanks, Brookie. (sighs) Let's just go and enjoy the movie. Jake passes Chad a Snickers. Hey, here you go. On the house. Exterior shopping mall car park 
continuous <laughs> to, to <laughs> Dale and Wendy a, a quickly exiting the car park. Oh my God, Dale. I can't believe you. I had to. I can't afford that. This is a hit and run. We're on camera, you idiot. We'll be fine. End scene. <laughs> wow. Continuous. <laughs> Beautifully played, guys. Beautifully played. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> feedback. Just need to get out of character. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You so, got Maria, about those. Um, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Here you go, I'm JB. Back. Well done. <laughs> Maria, I really, saying, enjoyed, Maria. I really enjoyed experiencing you find your character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. I liked the Brooke character. Me too. She's quite yeah. chill. I like that they were both American because it wasn't, it was not never a, in the character profile about Brooke, but you were mm. like, yeah, they came here together maybe. Oh. <laughs> See, freezing oh, cold. It was yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's like everyone else. Yeah, I was trying to picture where it was. Was this in Australia or was this, because everyone mm-hmm. else was Australian. Yeah. So I could just yeah. assume. I that. just made a choice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. It was perfect. Yeah. No, it was, it worked well. You guys played Very those great. characters beautifully. Reese, well done switching between. The Bogan Aussie yeah, and the uh, American oh, guy. Oh, thanks. Yeah, wow. Mm. Um. It was really United <laughs> States of Reese Mitchell then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to edit this clip out and put it in my show reel. It's going to be good things for me. We could do a montage. You yeah, watch definitely. this space. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so when do you use continuous that? Because I thought it was like the same time. So why if would you then do a continuous? So like if would, someone goes from yeah, yeah, one yeah. room to another room, and now you're like oh, okay. you're in a bedroom, and then you walk into a yeah. lounge room, and the scene continues, sure. but you're in a new environment. That makes sense. Mm. So do you change the scene, or do you just like? Well, yeah, if you the, change the like person. the setting. Okay. And so yeah. do you like interior continuous. lounge room, interior dining like room, but exterior it's the same house. Shot. You know, interior yeah. house continuous. Yeah. Maybe it's like a tracking continuous. shot, and I haven't really seen, but it's it's not. It's sort of like when you see a um, someone overusing sort of like a semicolon or something. Is this mm-hmm. how often are people using continuous? Do you see it rarely. a lot in the script? Rarely. Yeah. So we've got Very a six-page script I'm, and yeah. it's it's featured it's four times on every yeah. page. I think yeah. you just sometimes people use a moments later. If mm-hmm. you want to make sure there's no time jump, so that one. you can say a moment okay. moment later. That's we'll get fun. over that pretty quickly, I think, as well. Though <laughs> it was just saying that. I mean, it yeah. feels like I feel like I feel like Georgie Boy was using it to be like, "This is the next scene. It's a linear film, and it yeah, <laughs> it, heads in it was happening at yeah. the same time. It's not a flashback. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you exactly. meant everything was hap- occurring at the same so time. Like, Simultaneously, yeah, yeah I yeah. think so. Yeah. It's like you guys yeah, were in GB, you should have been at the same time doors pulling in. At the movies. Just right, right yeah. simultaneously. Mm-hmm. Next like the George. film <laughs> Elephant. Is it a bit like that? <laughs> yeah. I think so. that, oh. yeah, yeah more actually, indication in the script. Of that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's it's it feels like GB saying continuous is like at the end of every piece of dialogue saying he said and she said. Mm. Like it's, mm. it's sort of, there's, there's, it's implied. But look, yeah. I didn't do it like a, you can't, I've been criticised before by listeners in saying that I just criticise, I never do anything. And so I'm yeah. wary of that. Really? I yeah, thought I just Georgie Boy was using say, it like... Oh, great job. Yeah, no, it was a great yeah. job. Mm. Yeah, I thought, job. GB, that you were using continuous like the film is not over yet. You know, like yeah, yeah, it's exactly. continuous. Just don't, in case don't you stop didn't know. Don't, don't yeah, don't give up. up. Yeah. Don't, don't leave. Some things are going to come together. Cheer squad. Yeah. Should, yeah well, here's maybe. the thing. Where, you go, Jimmy. Oh, I was going to say, we're like eight. What are we? Eight eps in? Is this episode eight? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight eps into our 10 part series. And mm-hmm. I mean, there's so many loose ends. So yes. now <laughs> we know that Dale is. You know what you should do? You should do like an advanced screenplay Sunday now that you're like, you know, experienced in the field. Mm hmm. You do yeah, more, you do bigger it? films, you Advanced do bigger listeners. films. You yeah. do features, yeah? Right. Could, yeah. I could imagine maybe GB could mix it up rather than saying continuous, you could like in brackets say like keep going or there's more to come. <laughs> yeah. Like that. yeah. Got this. Don't <laughs> go got this. away. Hang in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great Hang acting. In there. Yeah. <laughs> Great acting. Yeah. Do you Good see that often in, in, in <laughs> do you see encouragement on the on the on the screenplay <laughs> that David reads very often? No, well done, I just have an assistant follow me around saying, <laughs> you're great. Uh, don't, you're amazing. 
Uh, any, I love the way you guys portray that. <laughs> what was everyone's fate? Let's let's um, let's try and find our favorite New segment. Bit. No, yeah, exactly. No, this is, this is a segment I love to play called Favorite Bit. Um, <laughs> Maria, what was your what, favorite? What happens in Favorite Bit? A favorite <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we look through the script and we find the favorite bit. Uh, Makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, love the function- I really love the functional titles. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's the screenplay. It's a continuous no frills, theme. No Frills podcast. <laughs> yeah. Maria, what, uh, any, any favorite bit? It could be. A piece of dialogue. It could be action. Uh, any any moment that really stuck out to you. The thing that I uh, really I can't get out of my head was the description of the car scraping the car. Mm-hmm. It was uh, mm-hmm. very practical, similar what like what I just said. It's very no frills description. Um, it's just the yeah. car the this car scrapes past this car, and I just like mm-hmm. there was no. No funny business, and I um, it was refreshing. Yeah, yeah no fluff. <laughs> Did that you race? No what, what was interesting? Yeah. What was no interesting cinematic. about that part was you learnt whose car it was through the dialogue, not the big print, <laughs> which is wrong, and um, really yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was very, very um, expositional dialogue, which is always yeah. fun. I mean, it's. I, it's, thought, uh, it was, I thought the ending. The ending was really odd because. It yeah. kind of was like it, it had the, it read like a cliffhanger, but everything was already concluded before that. So he just said, <laughs> "We'll be yeah, fine," yeah. and he was like, "I guess we will be." <laughs> I, didn't I mean, really well, it like kind it. of is a cliffhanger. Mm. Is you it? Know, when, is it though? Yeah, yeah. Does it continue? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the scenes did. <laughs> um, yeah, because yeah. this is you know seventy five percent into our film. That's it, yeah. If we're about oh. so. I was, so to be honest. This is the climax of the film. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think the climax would have been if it said end scene, continuous. Police <laughs> that, would have, no, no, that would have really got me. <laughs> Next um, week on. Yeah, but no, I think it was, oh. GB, I think it was really good. Um, I think, you know, it's you've got a real sort of Aaron Sorkin vibe. The dialogue is just pacey, 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 <laughs> pacey. Compliment. It's continuous. It's constantly moving through the scenes. It's continuous. It and is as, continuous. Uh, as Maria said, it also doesn't have that, you know, no, there's no frills action. You, you almost get the sense that the action was just thrown in at the last second just to sort of make it make sense. It's really nice. It's just Thank life. You. Just real life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It yeah. is. Yeah. Um, have you guys had fun? GB. Have you? Have you? Is thank you. Have you, have you had fun? Yeah, big time. Yeah, Good it was fun. wonderful. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I really like Chad. I love the character. Legitimately, would like to play Chad. Mm-hmm. Um, It'd be yeah, great. A lot of fun. I'd love to. Uh, you know, his his love of his car, kind of dominating mm-hmm. everything in his life, could be a lot of fun mm-hmm. to play. Maria, have you had like what's been fun for you? <laughs> This is, our, oh this is our new this segment, is by the way. <laughs> what's, what's, what's been fun for you? <laughs> yeah. What's been uh, well for me? Um, I think just uh, the whole experience, beginning to end. Um, <laughs> Did you feel you like know, there was a middle? Was, just, was there? A middle? <laughs> yeah, I that was continuous. Middle, that <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I, you t- I feel like this has been all middle, and mm-hmm. it's that's nice. The middle's yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. You know what's going on. Um, and I just, I would just want to give some more encouragement um, because I feel like we have and keep going, criticized George. the script a lot. And mm-hmm. even though mm-hmm. I think um, that is okay, but um, I just want to encourage uh, you there. You know, I think. Um, Thank you, GB. That it's you know, you you know, you did it, and sometimes just doing it is good. Sounds like you're attacking me. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I, appreciate it. <laughs> I loved I loved that feedback. <laughs> I took it I took it literally. Yeah. Is good. Yeah. GB's on cloud nine. <laughs> I've been endorsed and by I think, professional actors. I think you're writing to be a continuous theme in your life. To be a continuous okay. theme. Keep writing. Um, I think um, uh, I think you write yeah. dialogue pretty well I'd say. Mm-hmm. I think your dialogue's fun. Now we play okay. one other segment it's a new one. It's called Who's Closest to a Train Station? Um, oh, I love that. <laughs> Could you hear well, that? Well, how do we play this? Can you explain it to me? What's it about? So <laughs> everyone GB. just says how many metres <laughs> away they think they are from a train. Is that you, GB? Is this a, it who, is. Who's, who's all the, where's all the it train is, this noise? It's the train. It's, it's the train. GB. Oh, it's are you GB. at the office? At the office. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. I was thinking, I was like, who the fuck? Like, I was like, it sounds like 
at the same train as the office that goes by. You're at the office. That it, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah, at the office. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So I'm the like game's over. I'm imagining the well, Blues the, yeah. Brothers, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. under a bridge. Yeah. Well, GB's that twenty actually- meters from the train. Yeah, like Anyone else closer well, than that? You won. I, the I have are. no idea what. Um, no. Nah. I'm quite close yeah. to a tram. <laughs> That's not, not the game. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wrong game, Josh. Uh, That's next uh, segment. This yeah. is our new segment. Who's tram closest game. to a tram? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Who's closest yeah. to um, public transport? <laughs> or where could? No, it's called uh, where could you go with your Mikey? Um, oh, yeah, that's good. Um, actually, Mason, you had a you were really surprised at how far the 109 goes uh, on yep. Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one the 109 uh, route uh, that tram that tram line goes far. Oh. It goes all the way from <laughs> Box Hill. Yeah, just to, um, my the, boyfriend just so came. The on. pineapple pickles are in the fridge, babe. <laughs> 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 do, you, do you need a hand over the pineapple pickles, or will you be okay for a few minutes? No, nah, just, just like you Maria, you could have pretended that was your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> good opportunity. Hey, That's a good hey, one. Can you, can you tell me how amazing I've been? <laughs> um, just today. I've been. Yeah. <laughs> it's been amazing. Yeah. Oh, you're a great assistant. I need one of those. <laughs> yeah, you've been amazing. He should have played Ben. And it's gone. Yeah. He just walked out the door. <laughs> um, well, that, that was great. I, I really had a lot of fun. You had fun? Great. Yeah. Oh, that's how's good. how's my really energy fun. been? Great. It's gotten better. It's, yeah, it's improved. Yeah. It's, I think the mm-hmm. yeah. improved. I the always feel like really end on a high, Josh, which is great. Really? Yeah. Oh, You've had like fun. You, always, you have fun and then you go, this is actually really great. And then you, you're full of yeah. energy. Yeah. I feel, mm. I feel really good. Yeah. You have um, retrospective fun. You're not having fun at the time, but then at the end you go, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, I feel that way. <laughs> I reckon that's true of, I reckon that's true of life. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I have Once that a dead. lot with parties yeah. and mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, I had, so yeah, I'm not necessarily the the best person when it comes to going to parties, but my girlfriend Brie, or what, like one of the most annoying things that happens is when we're coming home, she always says, now that was fun, wasn't it? And it just takes all my mind just because, yeah, I did have fun, but I just, for whatever reason, I just Aww. don't want to say it. You don't want to admit yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, then it sends this, sets this precedent that I, I'm i instantly going to every party and it's mm. just, it's too stressful, you know? You think it will be used against you, like? But remember, you said that was fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, no, but I there is, that. but there is just the. Um, I mean, are you finding with the COVID stuff and things opening up and there being more social events? How oh. are you guys going? Bad. I left like drinks, <laughs> drinks the other day, and I had no excuse. I was like, ah, oh, oh, it was like a bunch of us having drinks. I was down the road, and I was like, I gotta go, and I didn't even have an excuse. Everyone's like, why? And I was like. I just, uh, I gotta go. You've got I symptoms. I just, yeah, I just, yeah, I just couldn't. It was like, it was enough. It was really nice yeah. to see you, my friends. Yeah. But I've just. Oh my god, Maria! What about steps. what about the weekend at the beach? <laughs> oh insane. my god, we went to the beach, right? Which beach did you go we, to? Reese and I, uh, Sandringham. Because we took and Grace to Port Melbourne. It was a terrible <laughs> idea. It's such a shit. <laughs> shit. Grace is from beach. WA. Yeah, Port Melbourne. Yeah. Bad beach. Port oh, Melbourne. It's yeah. sorry, Can you Grace? smell it? It's not even a beach. Yeah. It's like taking her to like a. Yeah, Industrial. Like yeah, you want to see. You want to yeah, see yeah, where the yeah. Tasmania takes yeah. off. Here it is. <laughs> Welcome to grey water. Yeah, we went we to Half really Moon and it was there. mental. Really? Yeah, it so was really. turbo. The mm. people rocked up with DJ decks next to us, and the beach was so busy we couldn't move to a further away spot. And they were playing. It was like a Ibiza. Like it was like uh-huh. it was so insane. It was very entertaining and fun, but also I um. It was really, it was exhausting. How do, I'm always yeah. interested how they power those things. Did they have their own generator? S- <laughs> they must have. And also the DJ didn't have a chair and it really annoyed me because the <laughs> decks were really low and I was like, just sit on the oh. sand and, you know, but he was standing and bending over oh, and no. he would have been oh. so he was like in a He was like in a sore. squat the whole time. His quads and <laughs> glutes must be incredible, to be honest. <laughs> it was amazing. What about those people, who, he, those people who have that giant unicorn inflatable, like humongous inflatable unicorn? Well, you were the unicorn. music festival. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but if, it felt like the end of the world. Like I was like waiting for an asteroid to come. Like, it just felt so <laughs> This is what I noticed at Port 
Port Melbourne, everyone was bringing like trolleys just full of stuff. And I was like, what are you guys yeah. doing? Like, <laughs> do you only get out to the beach once a year or something? Like, you just got to get all your beach well, time now. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, true. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it did seem like yeah, that yeah. a lot of it, it, it just had a lot of tents. A, yeah, lot of, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, but everyone yeah. had toys. It's like they didn't know that there was going to be yeah. sandcastles there, so they brought like their own <laughs> yeah. things. Yeah, um, lots of online purchases, other, like late night online yes. purchases. Yes, <laughs> it looked like it was like Coming the beach brought the to you by Wish.com. Wish.com, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true that like, even the other, the other weekend when we all hung out for, for Mason's birthday, I remember like we we're packing the picnic basket and it was like, shit, we got everything? Like a cat being fed? Like haven't left the house in nine months. Like what have we got to do? Yep, got water, he's got You're water, like, that's all good. Okay, we've got <laughs> Yeah, have you got fifteen rolls of toilet paper just, yeah. just in case? Yeah. We, did, we did bring toilet my paper. My survival gear. Yeah, I got my bug out backpack. <laughs> I could get around a bug out backpack. Can I just say I got the, the most Same. annoying, the most annoying uh, PO box um, delivery yesterday, uh, Mister ninety seven. It had his name on it, and I said, "Can I? Can I open? Can I open the package? It's got your name on it." He said, "Yes," wow. and it was from a promotions uh, company that does like printed merchandise. And I got a yo yo. I got like a torch. I got a a metal straw. It was just the most like oh, that's it, it, good. great. No, it's just the that's most. Wonderful. No, it's the metal straw. But you love that though for the environment. Have you binned it all? No, no, no. That's fantastic. Yeah, but like, I mean, it's it's not good for the environment because they sent me all this shit un, unprompted. Um, In like, plastic. Like, look, a lot of a lot of straws. Like, I've got three straws oh. there. I've got the. I'm jealous. Uh, like, right? And wait, are you complaining, Josh? Yeah, I am. Um, I just feel like I, that this yeah. is like it feels like I went to a conference or something. It's just so much random. You've been to Hillsong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure, you could get. Is it a good quality yo-yo? It'd be a shit yo-yo. No, okay. it'll be a shit. I think it'll be a shit yo-yo. But it does get you think. It 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 reminds me of when I was school captain and the the hoodie company sent me a a, a pack uh, which included a hoodie and chocolates. Um, as a way of trying to convince us to uh, to use them from a printing and you bought a thousand? No, no. They, they actually, they, the the principal thought that it would encourage gang culture if we were to get Year 12 footies, so it was mm. vetoed. Um, it happens, but I, put I on did, a hood. <laughs> I know, yeah, shit gets crazy. Yeah. But I did have yeah. the um, the Snickers. Um, <laughs> it was it was Lucky. great. Lucky you. Yeah, I just wanted to. Wow. Glad I got that story. So you're like, are you at like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I will take a photo. You will see a photo of me uh, drinking out of a straw. Um, well, uh, well, yeah, yeah. And that will be tagged. something to look forward to, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but the other yeah. thing, it does come with like it does come with a cleaner, um, and That's there's something. So cool. s- I've never actually seen a pipe cleaner used for its intended so as purpose. As a pipe cleaner. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Well, oh, great. <laughs> Wonder I think it's. Uh, I think. I think conversations hit an all-time low, so we should probably uh, wrap <laughs> this, this up. Right. <laughs> that was actually. Um, that's, we're still on the script. Uh, continuous. Uh, continuous. Uh, continuous. Morning, day. Uh, Josh holds straw and says. <laughs> And uh, says, thanks well, how are we? Uh, wearing a hoodie is a gateway to joining a gang. <laughs> uh, no, guys, no, seriously, though, enjoy um, enjoy a tuna sandwich. Please take one away. Also, the pickles. Maria, I know you love the pineapple pickles, so take some of them as well. Thanks. I feel very taken care of. Um, great. I'm, I'm glad. And uh, that's Screenplay Sunday for another day. Uh, this is episode eight. We're going to ten, so we've only got two more. What could possibly happen in the next two weeks? You'll have to find out. Uh, by listening, uh, we'll, we'll catch you. Uh, we'll catch you another time. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. It was so fun. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>